Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I earned my very first revenue from affiliate marketing. Very exciting stuff because affiliate marketing is something that I feel like everyone who is looking to you know, create a side hustle and stuff like that. They've come across affiliate marketing, but many people have tried it and never been able to make a single dollar. So to make at least $1 with affiliate marketing is a big milestone in itself. So the first question I have to answer for you guys is how long have I been doing affiliate marketing? Well, that's a really good question. And I started at the end of December of 2023. So I've been doing it for roughly two and a half months now. And I'm really happy with the progress that I've made given the circumstances of my situation. For those of you who don't know, I haven't really been taking affiliate marketing seriously. I have created an Amazon affiliate link. That is the main source that I do my affiliate marketing from is amazon.com. And how it works is I basically set up a storefront on Amazon that allows me to highlight different products that I find very useful and I'm very passionate about. And I take those products and I just put them on my Amazon storefront and I'm not actually selling them, but I'm actually just showing them to other people in the sense that I support those products and that I'm able to give a thumbs up or five stars for those products in that sense so that when people come across my page via affiliate links, they see the products that I'm sharing and they know that those products are something that I endorse or that I fully support. And in terms of the platform, we already talked about how I use Amazon. As of right now, I don't use any other platforms for affiliate marketing. I just have an Amazon storefront and I also have a few products in that storefront that I'm technically an affiliate member of. So in terms of my affiliate store on Amazon, this is what my store looks like. We have a nice little banner here. We have my profile picture actually displayed twice. I can probably do a better job on that front, but at the end of the day, people are here at your storefront to see the products that you're offering. Obviously, the visual appeal does make a difference, so I highly recommend adding at least some sort of banner and profile picture, but here's the stuff that I actually endorse in terms of my affiliate links. So we have three different Bible choices right here. I actually use these Bibles pretty much every day, mostly this one right here. So that's pretty cool, but let's go ahead and go back to my storefront here. I also threw in some books that I have read and I really do enjoy. These are books that I've really gotten some value from. The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, and How to Create Wealth, Invest in real estate by Grant Cardone. I've read all three of these books and find them to be very valuable in some aspect of business. So yeah, these are kind of just some books that I recommend. So I threw those into my Amazon storefront as well. And then I have some of my video equipment that I use for making videos in this one right here. I've had this microphone for over five or six years and I've had this face cam uh, for around six months or to a year or so. And uh, basically, I'm not actually using either of these things in this video because I'm currently on my laptop. Yeah, this is kind of how an Amazon storefront works. So if you copy the link from the top of the Amazon store here, or if you go into one of these subcategories and copy the link there to a specific item. So like say I wanted a Bible, I would go here and then I would just give the link to my Bible collection to that specific affiliate place that I'm pasting my link in. So yeah, that's a little bit more about how my Amazon storefront works. And like I said, Amazon is the only affiliate place that I use at this current time. There are some other ones out there, but with Amazon, it's completely free and they basically give you a small percentage of any sales that come off of uh, basically your link that you have posted. If someone clicks that link and then buys something after getting to Amazon from that link, you get a small portion of that sale. The one thing with Amazon though is that the percentage for the sales is very, very low compared to other sites but Amazon is the most trusted site of all of those sites. So it's like you kind of have the popularity of Amazon, but you also have it canceled out by the low, the low percentage that it pays out on the fees. So there's kind of some give and take room there. But at the end of the day, I have made some positive income from affiliate marketing. And that brings me into my next point. How much money have I made from affiliate marketing? And in terms of that, I have made $2.33. Now you might be like, whoa, only $2, like what is that gonna do for you? And here's the thing, uh, with that $2, I didn't even try to promote my link in, in many ways at all throughout those first two months of, of me making that $2.33. 
So it just makes me wonder how much I could have made if I really did try to promote my links in some sort of way, if I would have strategically played it out in a different sense, I feel like I could have made at least 10x that and at least made around $20 or so in the past two months from affiliate marketing. But I did make three different sales for those $2.33, which averaged around 70 to 80 cents per conversion. So that's just a heads up there. Uh, that it was three different sales that made me that $2.33. So I'm literally making pennies per purchase, but at the end of the day, if I can start to build an audience and I can start to build up something that is worth you know, eyeballs and eyeballs are looking at my link more often and I promote it in a way that's unique and special and I'm really passionate about the product, then that could result in much higher results for me than just $2.33. But we all start somewhere and it's important to recognize that and I'm really happy with those results, even though it may not seem like much right now. So this brings me to my next question that you might be wondering, how do I actually promote my links that I'm talking about here? What platforms do I use to post my links on? Well, that's a really good question. And there's two main platforms at the moment. The first one is medium.com, where I post a lot of articles about different subjects. And I've posted a few articles about you know, my faith in, in Jesus Christ. And obviously Bibles tie into Christianity uh, very well. So like halfway through my article that I would be talking about, whether it would be something like fasting, or if I was just sharing an encouraging story about my faith, there's a good time to kind of not really plug my affiliate link, but kind of naturally make it flow into my my medium article so so obviously there's different points where it's more appropriate to put in an affiliate link than other times but uh, if it relates to the article and you're really passionate about that subject and then you have products that are linked to that subject that's obviously a great time to tell your audience hey I have products that I like endorse and I promote these products and you can check them out below I'd really appreciate your support that sort of thing, uh, you know, it, it goes a long way in the sense that if the viewer knows like, hey, this person obviously like cares about the products that they're promoting, let's go ahead and check them out. And then say that that Amazon link just got them to Amazon and then they completely forgot about who you were, but they got to amazon.com from your link and they bought something else. Then there's some money there that's left on the table for you because you actually brought them to amazon.com through your link. So even if they don't buy the products that you're specifically promoting, like I caused them to buy something, so I get a little bit of that sale. So that's kind of how that works. But I also promote them on youtube.com in my newest videos. I always post my links in the description of the videos. It doesn't hurt to do so, it can only help you. And if you have some passionate people who are really starting to get involved with your brand and are really starting to become fans of your brand, they're gonna be more likely to use your Amazon link and could even buy some stuff from that link as well. So, but like I said, the first few months, I didn't really do a great job of promoting the links that much. So to get three different sales from my links in those first two months, I'm very pleased with and there's so much room for growth in that category. So another question you might have is, well, I'm interested in affiliate marketing. How do I get started? Basically search up on Google Amazon affiliate and they will bring you to the Amazon affiliate site where you can set up an account. I'll even leave the, the link for that in the description below. Uh, while you're there, you should definitely check out my other Amazon links so you can buy some stuff with my link. So that's just a heads up too. In terms of how much time I'm putting into my affiliate links, it's literally a few minutes per week because I already have the links set up in my descriptions for YouTube. So they just automatically are pasted in there for every YouTube video. And then for Medium, that's where I spend the majority of my time placing links because I kind of use copywriting techniques in the sense of like convincing people to click on my link is very important while also retaining their attention on the article itself. So with medium.com, it's like I want them to stay for at least 30 seconds. I want them to at least leave a comment first before they actually go to my link. So it's important that I place it in the right spot. So it's all about strategy and how you do it. And the more you, you get familiar with how to place affiliate links, the better you get at it. So I wouldn't worry too much about that in the beginning. In the beginning, though, you just got to set up your account and kind of get uh, the whole storefront looking nice so that when people click on your storefront, they see, wow, this guy's actually professional and he has everything set up nicely. So that the visual appeal is very important. And um, yeah, just kind of make sure your banner and your profile picture match and that things look just visually appealing. It really does go a long way. So in terms of your affiliate account on Amazon, as you can see, I can see the stats from my previous 
30 days of doing affiliate marketing with Amazon. These gray bars represent the number of clicks that I'm getting on my links. And as you can see, there was a time where I really was not trying at all, but I did land a sale and that commission was 77 cents. So that was pretty cool. But as you can see, I was getting like no clicks on these days, but then I started actually trying and I was getting somehow I got 40 clicks on this day. I'm not really sure where I got those clicks from, but uh, like two, four, four, ten, one, three. 10, one, three, like there's obviously an exponential increase with clicks than there is in these previous days. So that's pretty important to note. And then in the last 30 days, I've gotten 78 clicks, zero bounties and, and 77 cents in total commissions. And guys, the last point I wanna make in regards to affiliate marketing is that it is a long-term game. And the people who are really making it big with affiliate marketing have built some sort of audience up and they're actually getting sales because they're doing the things the right way by building an audience, by promoting their links the right way with good copywriting and good placement of their links and good just the copywriting itself is super important. And as you continue to build your audience, you'll get better and better at it. But just know that it's all about a long term game here. But it's always good to start out by just setting up your account so that you can start practicing and start adapting to how things work before you actually have an audience built up because you can be more malleable or adaptable when you don't have as big of an audience because you don't know exactly what's going to work and stuff like that. So you can kind of figure it out as you go in that regard. So uh, just keep that in mind. But guys, it really comes down to consistency and it comes down to just getting started by taking that first step. Think of it this way. Is it going to be day one or is it going to be one day for you? I would choose day one because let's just get started, get going with it. Don't let another day pass and another day pass before you get started. Just get going today and you'll thank yourself later. So that's kind of all I have for this video. Hopefully you got some value out of it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. With that being said, don't forget to check out my Amazon storefront. I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to use my link when you're shopping for Amazon stuff as well. I'd really appreciate that. Using my link will allow me to get some of the funds from your Amazon purchases and not just Amazon because Amazon has so much money already. Why not you know, share the love with that and give some, some money to at least somebody who you support. So if you want to support me, that's great. I know other people as well who are sharing their Amazon links. So just know that uh, you, know, you can help other creators out by using their links on Amazon. So that's just a heads up. With that being said, though, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and peace.